What's up everyone? Welcome once again to the channel. It's your boy Luis Portales and for today's video we're going to be talking about Binibining Pilipinas 2024 which if you guys have been watching my channel you know that the season for Binibini has just begun. A few days ago I posted my official vlog attending the final screening for the pageant and this is when we were introduced to the official 40 candidates who will be competing in 2024 both for the title of Miss International and Miss Globe. So the official beginning of Binibini season it also means that we get to know the delegates to find out more about them and for today's video I just wanted to put together a list of delegates who managed to stand out in my humble opinion in terms of their glam shots that were used to introduce them to the pageant fans. So if you enjoyed this video go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow me on my social media, and of course, share this video with more pageant fans so that we can all join the conversation. Are you excited for Bini Bini Pilipinas 2024? Let me know down below. The first candidate that I wanted to highlight at number 12 on my list goes to Maria Abigail Jajala, Jajalia, Hahalia. I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but what a beautiful girl. I really think that this uh, particular glam shot is very effective because it really highlights her beauty it gives her a really strong character in terms of the makeup, the way that the lines were drawn on the face, everything is super nice and it also looks very very sharp. The hairstyling is giving, voluminous, wavy, shiny, nothing to complain about here. So this is a great way to be introduced to the pageant fans. At number 11 we have Crystal Jean de la Cruz who I actually had the opportunity to talk to and interview briefly for my blog, if you watch my final screening blog for Bini Bini, uh, super, super, super beautiful in person, uh, super eloquent, super likable. So honestly, my expectations for her going forward at Bini Bini are really, really high. To be honest, she's just not higher on the list because I think that, uh, you know, the portrait is quite simple, especially with the dark background, dark hair, you know, things tend to blend a little bit. But let me tell you, do not underestimate this candidate. When I got to see her in person, talk to her in person, she was most definitely one of the standouts in person, which is what really, really matters. Regardless, I think that she looks absolutely stunning on her portrait. Uh, I like the facial expression, very neutral, the very fitting makeup, which adds a little bit of light and color compared to the contrast between the hair and the background. And I just honestly cannot wait to see what she's going to do during this Bini Bini Pilipina season. At number 10 on the list, we have Zenet Khan, who is one of my friends that I remember from the time that she competed at Miss Philippines Earth. She also competed at Miss Universe Philippines. And honestly, this time around, I feel like she is so empowered and so ready for the stage of Bini Bini. She is coming strong with very good styling, a very solid team. Um, and I feel like she is now more confident than ever. Hopefully all of those things will also translate on stage at Binibini Pilipinas. She is one of the girls who has a really interesting story because of the past discrimination that she had to face and seeing her presenting herself in such a confident, beautiful, graceful, regal way um, for the introduction, I think that it just makes my heart so, so happy to see her. At number nine, we have Tracy Sunio looking beautiful as all of the girls in the competition. To be honest, this year, Binibini has some of the most beautiful girls in pageantry in the country. So props to Binibini for that. Uh, when it comes to Tracy, there's something about her. I don't know if you guys can see it as well. Maybe you can let me know down below in the comments, but there's something about her that reminds me a little bit of Catriona. I don't know if it's the eyes, the eyebrows, or even the shape of the cheeks. So beautiful, so graceful. And I like the fact that this photo is not doing so much when you look at it. I mean, there's nothing crazy going on with the hairstyling. The makeup is pretty neutral, kind of like smoky eye and like blush on the cheeks. Uh, nothing crazy with the pose, uh, but still she manages to grab our attention. So already that's a very good indicator of the girl's potential. And I cannot wait to see more centric glam on her in upcoming in upcoming challenges, upcoming photo shoots to see what she really can offer. But already just to begin, this is a very, very strong start. At number eight, we have Mitsucela Villanueva. Honestly, I'm so happy to see this girl once again. I got to interact with her a lot and meet her during her Miss Philippines Earth stint last year. I actually got to spend a lot of the times with the girls from that batch because um, I was preparing for Supra and I was being trained at KF and all of them were also being trained at KF so we would often be in the same spaces. Also I got to judge some competitions from Miss Philippines Earth so 
it is an understatement to say that I knew these girls. Uh, and basically, Michosella, something that really stood out to me all the time was her very vibrant spirit. She has this contagious energy, uh, such a happy girl, such a kind girl. Um, and one thing that I love about this portrait is that all of those things you can tell just by looking at the photo. Look at that smile, look at the happy eyes, look at the glow on the skin. This girl is giving me everything that I wish for and I'm so happy to see her coming back to pageantry at Binibini Pilipinas. At number seven, we have Miss Christine Baconawa. Oh my God, this is one of the fresh faces of the competition, at least I think so. Uh, if she has competed before in other pageants, forgive me, but I am not aware. So I'm really excited for new faces, fresh faces, and that's exactly what Christine is bringing to the table. I just absolutely love the tone of the skin here, looks so dewy, so smooth. Uh, I love the makeup on her. I don't feel like it's overpowering her beauty. I feel like if anything, it's really blending well and complementing the natural glow, the natural beauty that she already has. I love the use of the jewelry here with the accessories, the necklace, the earrings, and I love the hair. Look at the waves, look at the volume, look at how it is positioned over the shoulder. Shows us a little bit of skin, you know, with the shoulder, but at the same time, it just keeps the attention where it should be, which is, you know, the face and the facial features, those beautiful eyes. So, Christy, super promising. Let's see what you got for us this season. At number six, we have arguably one of the fan favorites of this patch already at Binibini Pilipinas, of course. I'm talking about Trisha Martinez who competed last year and ended up with a very good ranking in the competition, although not what was expected perhaps because Trisha, if you remember, was perhaps one of the fan favorites to win the title of Miss International last year. This time around she's coming back strong. Of course, I can already feel the excitement around her. The people are talking about her. So I know that the expectation is very, very high. I think that she went a little bit safe with the portrait that she provided. However, I can see why this is kind of like a strategic because the vibes are very Miss International. So I guess that as soon as of right now, Trisha is going to start branding herself for the Miss International title. To be honest, I absolutely love this photo. So I would have placed it even higher. The only thing that kind of distracts me a little bit is the amount of editing, like the airbrushing and everything is so soft that I wish that it was a bit more, you know, real. But other than that, I know that Trisha is gonna bring the A game this time around, so let's see. Ladies, it's game on because some of these girls are not playing and they're really, really going for the titles. There's only two and there's 40 of you, so you have to be strategic. At number five on the list, we have Kimberly De Luna, looking absolutely incredible. This is another one of the fresh faces in the competition and that just based on the looks, absolutely feels like she is so promising. There is so much beauty, so much grace. Um, the facial features are extremely sharp. I just absolutely love looking at this photo. So let's wait and see what Kimberly has for us in store. I believe that she is trading with aces and queens. So of course, uh, she has a support system behind her. And I can tell you as of right now, I see this girl in either one of the two competitions. Could be Miss International, it could be Miss Globe. So I mean, the talent is there, the potential is there. Let's see if the Bini Bini organization decides to give her a chance. Number four on the list, we have Miss Alexis Shuidian. Definitely one of the standouts in terms of her portrait. I just love the vibrant colors here and how it complements her. I love the hand positioning. You will notice that a lot of the girls have kind of like this dark orange backgrounds or the very light gray backgrounds. If it's orange, it means that they're coming from KF. If it's gray, they're coming from Aces and Queens. So you will notice that a lot of these girls with this background will have similar makeup, similar styling because they're all done together. However, when you put them all together in the same background, same makeup, similar stylist, this is when you notice really who stands out just because of who they are, facial features, uh, grace, you know, who has the X factor because there is really nothing setting them apart from each other. They all have access to the same tools and same resources in order to stand out. So I think that Alexis did an incredible job in terms of selling herself to the camera and really at least grabbing my attention and making me and making me gravitate towards her. Now let's talk about my top three picks for this official glam shots. Um, number three goes to Roelia Frias. Honestly, we need to talk about Roelia because this is timeless beauty, okay? What I'm looking at here is not just a girl who is fierce, a girl who is glamorous. This girl to me is timeless. 
When I look at the grace in her eyes, the beautiful makeup, even the subtle jewelry here, very, very beautiful hairstyling. And just the X Factor vibe that she's giving me through this photo, I just think she is ready for a crown right now. Of course, we have to see a bit more, maybe in person, we have to check out her social media, because we all know that, you know, sometimes we just have like that one lucky photo. But based on this, if I'm making a first impression judgment, I think that Roelia hit the jackpot. Congratulations, Roelia, and very good job to your team. Very similar comments apply to my second pick on the list, which goes to Leslie Jones. Wow, looking so, 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 so good. I can already tell, as I told you earlier, because of the background and uh, the jewelry. This is a KF girl. My God, I actually heard a little bit about Leslie being um, a little bit of a personality, like some people know her because of what she does. I believe she's an artista or something along those lines. But my God, I really wanna, I really wanted to highlight her because as I told you, with similar background, styling, makeup, and hairstyling, some of the girls can blend together. But Leslie has something different that sets her apart already in the way that she decided to pose. Face the camera, she is giving us the right side, which is already not as common if you look through these photos. I love the styling here. She decided to tie her hair, make a little bit of a bun, which I think it really makes her look incredible. Long neck, showing skin, showing the shoulders, highlighting the jewelry, and of course, that incredible beauty that you just cannot deny. Mm. Jackpot, one of my favorite shots, most definitely. All right, and last but not least on the list, actually my favorite glam shot for this particular batch of Binibini Pilipinas goes to Phoebe Godinez. I absolutely love the simplicity of this photo, but yet it is so effective at helping her stand out amongst 40 really, really strong delegates. That is something remarkable, and I think that Phoebe and her team should be extremely proud. Looking at this photo, you can tell she has really sharp facial features, the jawline is giving, the cheekbones are really plump, eyebrows are playful, and I love how they kept everything kind of minimalistic in terms of the colors that were used for makeup. The hair is simply flat. They didn't have to add a lot to make her stand out. It is really all Phoebe. So I think that's perhaps one of the biggest promises of the competition. So I believe that this is a very promising girl. I cannot wait to see her performing. I cannot wait to hear her comp skills. Uh, and this is when we can determine, you know, who is really, where we can orient the girls, where we can send them, whether it's for Miss Globe, Miss International, who has more chances than the other. So those are kind of like the deal breaker moments. But as of right now, I think that Phoebe, with this particular First impression and introduction is perhaps one of the biggest standouts of the entire batch. So there you go, everyone. Those were my comments for Bini Bini Filipinas 2024, the introduction of delegates through their glam photos. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me, with my selection, and if you would add someone else, I will be reading you down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye now.